but the modern uh, these things they say it aim means yes and it's a and quite it's rhetorical is it so kind of an is it so so they're going in in is the Aramaic yes which is a bit complicated because if you, if one word can mean yes or no it it can mess things up so okay. So, but when Avimi came from Bechuzai, okay. He, he came and he brought us of Isa Masnisa Biyadi. He brought a Brysa together with him. He came, he brought this news, this Brysa. What does it say? The bed of Anida is like what she touched, which is much more lenient than a regular Mishkabu Maisha. Regular Mishkabu Maisha is much more than what she touched. It's like, it's like her itself, her herself. It gives off an extra tumma that it, uh, even a person that touches it could become tumma. But Avimi brought a brisa that says that it's like what she touched, which means that it can't contaminate a bed. My love, is it not? Mama go adam, just like an article or an item that she touches cannot contaminate a person. Also, her bed can't contaminate a person. So, a, so it's a question on Zi'iri, because from a brisa, which is a big problem. A brisa for Zi'iri is a problem, because you can't. Um, Rabbi, Rabbi says, it is Do you really think so? Kalvachaymer. It's a Kalvachaymer. Can I follow this Kalvachaymer? Ma klichere samuk of tamid pasol hanitzel bayel ames. Let's go through this slowly. Normally, uh, the way something becomes tame is you touch it. Earthenware becomes tame, not earthenware, clay. Cheres becomes impure not through touching the back, the outside of it, but it becomes tummy from the inside of it. Even if you don't touch it, but anything that goes in the airspace makes it tummy. Other kalim become tummy from the outside. Now, what what would happen is, let's say there's tumma in a house. So the tumma in the house fills up the whole house, and if the klicheres is open, then the klicheres becomes tummy because it's entered the airspace of it. But if the klicheres is closed, it's called summit puzzle. It's has a lid and it's sealed. So then, there's no tumma that entered in the airspace and it stays tar. So it goes like this. Ma klicheres. No, we're now, I'm sorry, I should have said, we're talking about only by a mace. Tumas mace. There's a corpse in the house. That's what makes the, the airspace tummy. And neither is only from touching and then. Okay. Tumas mace means a corpse. Umakli cheres, just <laughs> just as the earthenware vessel hamukaf tzamet pasul that's surrounded by a lid and a seal hanitzel by a lamais, which is lenient, it's protected in a tent, in a, uh, a house that has a corpse in it. However, in a nitzel b'meis leish benida, but is not protected from the twenty four hours of benida. We're going to see where he knows this from, but first he's setting up a stage for a kalvachimer. He says, if a nida would touch a klicheres that's surrounded, it would not become tamid. But if a nida moves it, so the same way she moves the outside, she's also moved the inside. And there is a special tumma called tumas keset, of moving it. And because a nida can contaminate a klicheres that's protected with a seal by moving it, but a tumas oil, if it's in the tent, it's, it's, um, it's lenient. So what, what, is that, what comes out over here? And that's more fun. That even though a, a klicheres has a leniency, that in a house it's protected, but nevertheless, tumas meyes yes, the retroactive tumma of a nida. That means that she, she moved it yesterday, the afternoon. It's still tummy because today she found down mishkavis and mishkavis, beds, which are the chamer. A bed in the house of a mace becomes tummy immediately. There's no protection for it. That means it's a, it's it's chomer. If for sure should not be protected 
or have any leniency in the retroactive tumma of a nida, and for sure should give off all the tumma. So what are you bringing a brisa from uh, with Avimi brings from Bechuzoi <laughs> that says the, the retroactive Tumma Benida does not have the stringencies on the bed that it makes a person tummy and all of that. It doesn't have that. What are you talking about? I have a Kavachaymer that it does. Okay. The Gemara says, that's very nice. You have a Kavachaymer and it's logical and you have all of this. <laughs> But you didn't resolve the issue. The issue was we have a brisa that says fakir. We have a brisa that has the opposite. What you can't, uh, not, what are you doing? So you brought me a logical thing, but that's not my issue. My issue is you didn't answer the problem. Ema mishkava meshava kumada atzma. We're going to read it differently. Not kimaga. It's not the bed that Anita sat on is like something that she touched. No. The bed of a nida is like touching the nida. Which takes us back to our original din. Which is that the person becomes tame and the clothing that the person wears becomes tame, everything that fits. The brisa that Avimi bought, brought has the... Has, that, the, the clothing the that the person's wearing also becomes tame. Like, so the, like the person that's touching it. So it all becomes a, a reshing. In other words, you're touching a bed, it's as if you touch the av, which is, would be the nida. Okay. Just like touching the nida herself, or the yeledes it could be, is contaminates the person to contaminate the clothing that he wears. Also, the touching the bed also contaminates the person in the clothing. Tanya, kabasei the rav, will bring a raya, that rav is correct. That there's a kalvachaimer here. And the bed is, does contaminate retroactively with all the stringencies that it has, that the person that touches it also becomes tummy and his clothing also becomes tummy. We have a brisa that goes like this. Harayadam. Now the Bach switches the, there's two clauses to this brisa. And the Bach on the side, Bach, he switches the first clause with the second clause, and Rashi also does that. And if you're following with the Rashi, you won't be able to follow unless you switch it like the way the Bach does it. But we could just read it straight. We're not doing the Rashi's inside. Someone that, um, a woman that sees blood. Metama Meisleis. She contaminates retroactively. It's purity. <laughs> it's good you have this. It's uh, It's some It's puzzle. Rice that supports Rava, a woman that sees blood, she contaminates retro- retroactive. Mahi Matama, what does she contaminate? Mishkavis and Meshavis. She makes beds tame. Oichlin Amashkin, she makes food tame. Uklicheres, Hamukhev Tamid Pasal. She also makes a. Klicheres. By moving. It has to be by moving it because touching it is no. An uh, uh, earthenware vessel that's sealed, she can also make it tame by moving it. Tomas Hesed. Now, this, um, actually, that's interesting. He said manana. Yeah. No, he said manana. Manana. So, it doesn't, it actually, it's, it's appropriate. It doesn't mess up her, her future, her future calculation, which we could spend the rest of, uh, the rest of the week discussing this Gemara. If you remember, we learned this in Erechim, I think, about a woman that sees blood, but she doesn't know her calendar. So she doesn't know if she's a Nida or a Zava. So any blood that she sees, she doesn't know in what situation she's in. So how does she get back to her status? Remember this? I brought little black squares. We moved her all over this. Let's see, it's here. Let's see, it's here. Mm-hmm. Got all these options. So it was like ridiculous calculations. But um, ultimately... The only way that she could get back on track would be if she would wait seven clean days. And then after that, it would start over because it's seven plus 11, um, which plus the day that she saw, and then the following day, it would start over. She would be in need again. So here's a woman that actually saw blood. When she sees blood once, that doesn't mess her up in any way. If she hasn't seen, especially if she hasn't seen in 17 clean days. 
if she, she hasn't seen in 17 days, so for sure she's perfectly fine. So we say, a woman that sees blood, ain't a makal kel doesn't mess up her doesn't mess up her calendar in any way if nothing else is going on. No, they marked it down. They marked it down. They had, they, no, they said Yudzayan Lachaydash, uh, whatever, they marked it down. No, they don't know. They 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 knew the time. They knew the cat. They knew the. Yeah. Yes, they had they had to have more education. They and just that also made a difference than Halakha. Right. Yeah, right. 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 Though I should point out, because you made that comment, I just I should say that my students tell me, what was the significance of Shabbos before they had cell phones? You couldn't water the flowers? <laughs> so, <laughs> you follow? You, you say everything takes on like a new meaning. With, so the Torah is applied in every situation. So you're, you're like, how did they do it before the app? <laughs> so it's yes, no, they did it before the app. And, okay. However, the, however, there's one thing here that Thomas Mace Lace does go back. It's a Tumal Mafreya. But let's say she's together with her husband. And her husband could become Tame from her. But let's say in the last 24 hours they were together and she sees blood within 24 hours of their being together. So he does not catch the Tuma. See, there's a little leniency here. He does not take on that, that tumma. It's only the grain that, that takes on. She, she doesn't make him tummy retroactively. We don't know that there was any tumma there. She saw them now, not, not yesterday. Okay. Yes, it's, cool. it's a kula. It's a lady. Well, the whole thing is a chumrah, so it just doesn't apply there. Rabbi Kiva and Rabbi as Bayala. Rabbi Kiva says no. He does become tummy. However, when it comes to calculating the calendar, even though the Tumma goes back, however, but she only counts from the time that she sees. It's not a leniency, because Nida is only seven days. If we say that she starts counting from then, now it's only six days. So it's not a leniency. The counting starts from now. Someone that sees a stain, this is, there are going to be slight differences here between a stain and if she actually sees blood. Because the stain, she doesn't really know when it came. So there's a few differences. So of course, metama lemafreya. Yes, it goes backwards. Umahim metama. What is it she going to be make tame? Oichlin umashkin. Food. Mishkavos to mishkavos. Bed. Klicheres hamukim tzam and puzzle. Klicheres that's surrounded if she moves it. Mikolkelas leminyana. Now it does mess up her calendar. Because she was looking to have 17 clean days um, previously, she doesn't know when she actually saw it. Could be it was yesterday, could be it was the day before, could be it was right now. So, so it messes up, um, it messes up her count. Umetame Espayola, by the way, a stain does not, it doesn't go on the calendar today. We're talking about Nida Ziva, all of that today. In Vestas, stains don't go on the calendar. So, Umetame Espayola, and it makes, it will make her husband Tame, which is a Chumra. But never the last, you only count from the time. When does it make him Tame? Retroactive. 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 Yeah, because it's, we really don't know when she was Tame. And she, but she only counts from the time that she saw. But this and this, you, is, is in limbo. You don't, Burn the f- you can't eat the truma or kaidash and you can't burn it, but it's it's a suffer. The, ra- the Gemara now asks like that. Okay, so we have a proof to Rav with that cheres amuk of tamei pasul and mishka v'mayisha is all tamei meisle. It's all, all retroactive, even though she doesn't know that she saw them. It's all tamei. The Gemara asks like this: 
the Rebbe is not getting away easy here. We brought a brisa that's a proof to him. The Gemara says, one second. Ishmi alei masnisa. If he knows of the brisa, alei masnisa, why didn't he say it was a brisa? The ilishmi alei masnisa. And if he didn't know the brisa, so kal v'chaymer minali. So how did he know the whole halacha of the klicheres that a me'es leis of anida makes a klicheres, an earthenware vessel tame, even though she didn't see the blood yet, she'll, it's retroactive. How, do we, how did he know that? The Gemara says, Leilam shmi alei masnisa. He actually knew the brisa. But if you would quote the Brisa, you wouldn't have known. You see, there's two halachas of Mishka Vomaisha. One is that it can contaminate the person. Another halacha is that it contaminates the person, that his clothing that he's wearing is contaminated. That we wouldn't have known from the Brisa, because it says it's Matama Mishka Vomaisha. We say, fine, but we wouldn't have known that it's Matama the person to contaminate the clothing. So, that's why when he brings us the Kalvachaymer, then it tells me the extra chumra that, that Rav wanted to make sure was clear. Amar Rav Huna. Rav Huna says, Mi'es leis shabanida l'kodesh avalei l'truma. We have this whole thing about Mi'es leis shabanida, retroactive truma. We say that that's only for karbanas. Retroactive truma is only for karbanas, not for truma. The whole time I was mentioning grain, you're talking about grain that, sh- that makes your tummy. We we're talking about truma grain, Rav Huna, at least in this version of Rav Huna, it's only karbanis. This whole chumrah, it, we just diminish this whole thing. It's only talking about a woman that's probably the wife of a kayan. It would, well, truma would also be the wife of a kayan, but, but it could be that someone else separated it. But kaidesh would be only karbanis. Well, actually, there could be karbanis that are eaten by the owner as well. Okay, but he limited this, this retroactive truma. The Gemara says, Yehachi, listen to Gabi Mailas. In Sefnis Tagiga, there's a list of things that are more strict about Karbanas than about Truma. And this is not one of them. Why is this not one of them if Rav Huna is correct? The Gemara says, Kiktani, that list in Tagiga is Hecha Desle Drar de Tuma. That's only if there's some reasonable doubt of Tuma. Aval Hacha, but over here, it is so far fetched that this woman should become a retroactive that. Um, What's drug on that's, uh, that's a tough word. Like the flow, right? The, I, I don't know how to translate Jorah. Um, the hands of, the, um, the extension. The extension, mm-hmm. something, some sort of, how do they translate Jorah then? Concern. An extension of it's actually my in Baba Basra between Russia and places what Jorah means. It's not on this chat. So, um, but where there is no, no concern for Tuma, which over here, she didn't see Dam. She didn't see blood yesterday. What, what the, so there's no, there's no, it, it's just this extra Chumrah. It doesn't even get listed amongst those things. Let me go a draft further. Mesve, the Gemara's question. Mahi metama. What does it contaminate? We're quoting the Brisa that we quoted. Oichle mamashlim, it contaminates food. My love, being the kites, being the truma. Whether it's a sacrifice or whether it's truma, truma, the gifts to the kayan. The Gemara says, loy the kaydesh. That's not a question. We can answer that easily. It's only talking about uh, food of kabanas. Tashma, come and listen, Rabbi Yudai, Marav, Bishas, Avrosim, Milechel, Betruma. The Brisa says that a woman needs to check herself regularly when she eats. Uh, to, before she eats truma, she has to examine herself to make sure she's not tummy. And then it says, and also when she's finished eating truma, she has to examine herself. One second. According to Rav Huna, what's the truma have to do with this? It's only karbanas. Is that why we say she lost on Yisha? <laughs> the Havinan Ba is part of it. <laughs> we ask, we ask, Madahava Hava. Why is she examining afterwards? She has to examine before. It says, She needs to, to, to make sure that if she, when she examines afterwards, the food that was left over could be tame, because it's meis leis, meis leis shabanida. We see that it applies to truma. Rafuna masni lister shiraim shabiyadeha. Ravuna says, we're not talking about me, Esle, Shebanita. That's talking about she examines herself because the food is in her hand, not that's in front of her. 
She has to examine for herself to get that last bit of food that's still in her hand. She immediately examines herself right at the end. Tashima, listen to this. There was, come and listen. Rebbe Karebelazar. Rebbe Paskin like Rebelazar, that only that certain woman, a girl, that is not old enough to see, but she did see, and then she stopped seeing, so even though she saw once, but then she stopped. It was just like a freak that she saw once. She was really too young. So Rebbe Paskin, that she's not Matama Meisleis, which is the machlekes between Rebbe Lezer and the Rabbanon, if this woman, if this girl goes back to that status. Lacher, v'asa Rebbe Karebbe Lezer. Lacher shenizgar, am Rabbi Eliezer. After he remembered that he passed in, like Rebbe Lezer, he says, Kedayu Rebbe Lezer, listen my love, v'sha sadcha. Okay, I made a mistake, but it's, we can rely on Rebbe Lezer at a time when we don't have a lot of food. It was a time of a famine. We'll rely on him to be lenient. We asked my lachash and What does it mean after he remembered? After he remembered what? It's after he remembered that the halacha was wrong. He passed wrong. Rather, he should have passed like the Rabbanon. Then what do you mean? Just because, just because it's a shasad chak, he's going to say, he's going to rely on the wrong halacha? Really, the halacha was not established. And but he remembered. But really, the halacha should be established, like the rabbim, like the rabbanon. But it wasn't established yet. He said we can rely on Rabbi Lezer at a time of a famine. If we're talking about truma, we're talking about the days of Rebbe here. Rebbe is 100, 150 years after the destruction of the Temple. I know the Havi Truma, but me Rebbe. They're still taking Truma. Eliyamet la Kaidesh, but if we're dealing with sacrifices, Kaidesh, but me Rebbe, me Havi. What are their sacrifices in the days of Rebbe? The Gemara says, Kidu Ula, we're going like Ula, Damar Ula, Chavraya Midchan, Begalila, that there was a group of, let's say, uh, I'm going to say this is very not politically correct. <laughs> I'll leave that out. Okay, good, thank you. That we're still we're still keeping Beis Hamikdash laws 150 years after the Beis Hamikdash was destroyed. They're keeping things with that severity of 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 Kaidesh. So Hachanami Bnei Rebbe. It was also in the days of Rebbe that we still had people that were keeping it to such stringencies of is that of Kaidesh. Is this historic? Historic. Yeah, the Gemara uh, tells us everything. Okay. Yeah. No, 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 